Okay, hope you're enjoying your Monday. Again, I appreciate all the support you've shown me. Thank you again for buying me coffees and, you know, the likes, the share, subscribes, everything helps, um, you know, and, you know, thank you again. I appreciate all the support. So in this video, we're going to make a simple um, transition effect or, you know, like reveal an object using the clipping plane node. So this clipping plane node here. Um, and it's really cool. So you can create, you can make these really cool effects just by using the clipping node, and we'll earn some materials um, to do that. So I've got a model of Sketchfab. I've already pre-downloaded pre it. Um, you can get any model, or you can just use the geometry inside um, Ventus. So you can just put a cube in there, to do apply the same effects to it, and then swap the model out later doesn't matter um, at this point so this model is going to be huge so I'm just going to scale this down depending where it is in the world there it is 0 0.01 and we have a cool Iron Man effect you know Iron Man model let me just re reposition this node and get rid of this long root node name and just say Iron Man we've got the Hulkbuster but um, yeah so you got this model, okay? And say you want to say, I want this model to reveal in a fancy, you know, fancy way. We can use the clipping plane node. So we can drop in a clipping plane node. Actually, what I'm going to do is parent the clipping plane node to this. Um, and I'm going to move this. Actually, I will move this here and have another axis here. So now if I move them together, or in the Y. Not sure why my machine's struggling today, um, but it yeah, it will move. It will move how one. Um, anyway, so we've got the clipping plane node and the clipping plane node with an axis as well to control that. So so this is this allows me to move the whole group as one object. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so the clipping node you'll notice is it just chops it in half, right? You just you, that's the first thing you'll see. You'll be like, oh, it just chops more. It's just masking half and half it. But actually, what it's, it's clipping, the way it's clipping in is like you can rotate this to so say 90, for example, and then animate it in the Z, and you can reveal it in a cool way, like to say, okay, like you know, you've seen how Iron Man's holograms appear, you could do the same way. So you can reveal it like this, which is kind of cool. So it kind of builds up to clip it. Um, you can turn, you can rotate this on the, on the angle, whatever you want. And, it, and have it a cool reveal so let's make this a bit more cooler though right now it just kind of looks meh boring right so what you can do is take an instance of this model i'll say link here give it a second material on the inside and because right now they share the same z space you won't see anything so if i say change the draw mode to solid and none None. make sure it's on none change the base color to no light for now and then we're going to go here texture I'm going to add a displacement map now you'll see the second instance starting to appear because it's using this checkered loader to you know displace it but what we're going to do is change this to a gradient and we're going to edit that gradient so we just want a solid black color right? so now we've got one solid color and it's black and then when we change the bias and as you start to change it you notice that you can see more of the model on the inside and then the out so this is the inside of the model and there's the outside so if i move this clipping node now see and you get this cool cool effect and that it's not just the hollow object you know you can make it look like it's 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 got some you know it's it's a solid object if you want it. so let's go in here and just add an effect uh, let's just add the glare effect in here all right you know make it nice and nice and glowy and, you know just increase that down to if you want um let me just reduce them out there we go um and then of course we're gonna make it blue there we go There you go, and you got a nice glowing effect. But this that's one way, right? 
and, and of course you, you know you got all the you know reveal it to wow that looks amazing but what happens if I go in here now change this draw mode to wireframe now I've got a wireframe reveal wireframe to a solid which is amazing remember what you need to do though is when depending on what you're doing the settings you know you need to adjust that displacement map you know the the, the spacing so it doesn't cut into the model as much or you know make it smaller so you just have to be aware it doesn't do that but you get this cool effect that you can get you can achieve these cool reveals like that you see like in the iron man movies where, where where they're doing the clipping and then they have these flashing parts different parts of the model flashing to highlight different sections uh, you've all seen it in the you know i'm sure everyone's seen these iron man movies but you can change that uh, so let's do lines so lines is kind of cool so the thing about lines is you can choose say i want to show just the rim or the front or the back or you know and it's really cool um and you've got the control over the width so if i change that width and say click on so i can control the line width and then i say okay i just want to show the rim and then you can you know you got you have so much control over you know the look of these materials um and you can play around with that don't forget though um, to experiment and try try different things try different modes try sprites try paths try wireframe you know solid we've done you know what the solid is you know what the wireframe is it's just the wireframe it has no you know there's no option there but yeah if you haven't played around with stuff like using the lines and stuff um highly recommend you try it and you know remove the tessellation uh show rim you know you can get really cool effects just using something like this um but enough of that anyway um so so once you're happy with your effect or whatever let's just reset this okay say say you've got say i've got this cool effect but say i wanted to um have the wireframe first and then the solid appear um I need to use a filter so the filters are important so for example say I have other objects in my scene and say it's a cube and I apologize if I've been ruffling on that cube is also affected you can see so if I move it to the left or right it's hot you can see it's being clipped you can't see it in the scene because the clipping it, clipping node is affecting everything but what I want it to do is say only affect specific objects or and ignore other objects so you use the filters so you can say clip in plane filter and drop it on that cube and make sure you uncheck so it's where it says use clip plane uncheck that now what now this clipping plane node no matter what if i move this move this around this clip and plane node is not going to affect any of my other objects in the tree so if i have this um separate in another tree out of all my objects say i have buttons or interface or other models and i don't want that clipping node just make sure you use your filters okay so that's a, that's a one way but if i use this filter now on say the, the wireframe now what i can do is you see i can create this cool effect so it goes from wireframe to solid um if i change this to 90 I'm animating the Z, like the position of the Z. And you can have it grow to reveal. Or 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 if you want to animate it out, you know, you can go back into wireframe. And you get this cool effect. And as long as you group these, so the plane and the object. So if you have that's why I have an axis right at the top. If I rotate it, you notice it doesn't it doesn't change its Z position, but it's not world space, it's so you can move this all anywhere you want and you can animate this to reveal the object which is cool it's brilliant i think this is brilliant um you know if you're trying to uh, achieve a, spe a specific effect um right now maybe the lines are way too too thick for this but if it's like 5 or like 3 you know you can create these cool effects pretty easily um now what i could do is duplicate this again and have a uh, like add a room right so if i say okay i'm good oh, not this one i'm gonna say have an instance again thank you and a new material actually i'll just 
copy this material and just edit it so control and change this to solid so change this to solid I'm gonna change this to a form because we're gonna because the way the rim light is it needs needs to be a form. I'm gonna change this to black. Also I'm gonna change the specular to black. Okay? And then I'm gonna add the rim light. Rim light blue. And then you can change this blue. And I've got this cool hologram effect with the displacement. I'm gonna I can change the displacement as well. So now I can see I've got a wireframe if I change the wireframe colors to something else and you can see so now I've got multiple layers just using materials to displace them so they you know so it's got I've got my rim light and then I've got my wireframe and then I've got a solid and then, and the clipping node is going to reveal all three and it's kind of cool so, so I could go from this and then say I click it and then it comes to life you know adds color to it it's kind of you get this cool transition um which is which is if you wanted wanted to ever know how to achieve that that's that's one way of doing it uh, but hopefully this was useful um and i'd like to see if you have examples of what you what you've created i'd definitely like to see it um so please share your links below um but yeah hopefully that was useful let's add the light into this scene and now this is the part where I kind of fall on a little bit um, so I apologize so I'm just tweaking stuff but but there you go how to use a clipping plane even too it's great for beginners um, or even if you haven't played around with it and you even if you're a user of you know I haven't really used it much but yeah you just need the right I guess you need the right situation to to find depend on what project you're doing you know you use a different node or different effect but if you ever do need to create this kind of cool effect um yeah don't forget there are other nodes that you can experiment with um and try but yeah and again there you go that's me out thank you again appreciate your support likes Thank you again, bye bye.